All right, thank you. Someone was asking for uh, one of the tunes that we have on the new instrumental album. And, uh... Wayne, let me break in just a second, yeah. would you please? You know, we had the, the, the guitar man here from Italy. Would you bring him out and, uh, okay. and let him play some while I'm getting ready for the other number? I'll send him right out here. Okay. Mr. Uh, Savino. Okay. okay. We, uh, we've got a guest on the guitar, I understand, so we're going to bring him out. Mr. Savino and... Uh, Get him to do Sally Gooden. All right, let him do a little bit of Sally Gooden. We will show you the detailed weekend weather maps one half hour from now, but first, here's Joan with a new member of our Good Morning America family. We'd like to take the opportunity now to welcome a new member to our Good Morning America family, Kathy Lee Johnson, and she is going to be traveling around America, finding interesting people and places, and good morning, and welcome aboard. Good morning. Thank you, Joan. Sounds I'm so like glad fun. to be here. It's terrific. I've just done my first story, and uh, that's going to be the beautiful thing about this job. I'm going to go all around America, finding Americans doing interesting things. And where did this story take you? This first one took me to bluegrass country. This is Bean Blossom, Indiana. For two weeks every year, it's the mecca for fans of bluegrass music. Some 25,000 people flock here to listen to their favorite bluegrass bands. Drum, pluck, bow, sing, pick, and grin. Nowadays, when we think of music, we think of going to concerts or watching it on television or listening to our favorite records and tapes. So what makes bluegrass so unique is festivals just like this one, where people come from miles around, not just to listen, but to really get involved. Bluegrass is an experience. It's music so exciting that you can't just sit there and listen. You've got to play along. The festival is in its 16th year and was started by the 70-year-old undisputed father of bluegrass music, Bill Monroe. For two weeks, Monroe's 100-acre farm is dotted with pup tents, trailers, and recreational vehicles from every state. Many of the campers come here for the entire festival. Bluegrass is a phenomenon. Growing in popularity, this is one of 700 such festivals held in this country every year. Yet despite its growth, most people don't know what bluegrass is. Bluegrass music is a take-me-back-home kind of music. It's clean, 
family entertainment. It's primarily made up of fiddles, banjos, bass fiddles, upright basses, guitars, and it's strictly supposed to be 100% acoustic instruments. No electric instruments at all in bluegrass music. When you ask anyone about bluegrass, invariably the topic turns to Bill Monroe. Monroe was the youngest of eight Kentucky farm kids, growing up surrounded by the Kentucky hills, trapped by its isolation and its poverty. In the early days of bluegrass, it was really, was really tough. Uh, there wasn't no money, you know, and but I had plenty of willpower, and I was gonna, I was gonna hang in there. You see, I put bluegrass together back in 1939, and I wanted a music of my own. It's got the most wonderful drive that music has ever had. No music ever had this kind of drive till bluegrass come along. For most, the festival is a wonderful jam session happening spontaneously at numerous campsites. Musicians drifting like nomads, drawn by the driving beat of one stand-up bass to the next. I've been coming here nine years and never did go to see one of those shows. I come here to pick. And so you put it all together, you know. You got your picking, your fellowship, your relaxation, get away from it all, and it's just you can't beat it. I, mean, so I, don't, I don't even know this man's name. You stand here picking with him all day long. Don't know his name, don't know where he's from, nothing. Uh, but see, but see, we don't care because the music's brought us together. It's just like a big family reunion. Once a year, we all get down here. We have doctors, lawyers, surgeons. We have it's just a cross-section of the whole country, and the main thing that draws us here is our friendship and love for the music. The great thing about the festival is it brings the famous and the not-so-famous together. Bluegrass stars like Jim and Jesse taking time out to teach others the tricks of the trade. The last Friday of the festival, everyone gets together in a massive sunset jamboree. This year, 137 musicians joined in in a musical celebration, an example of the spirit of the festival. Bill's talent is only exceeded by his stamina. During the celebration, he played at least two performances a day, and when not on stage, he was orchestrating the event like a conductor. One of the high points of the festival was the dedication of a song written by songwriter Damon Black, a tribute to Bill Monroe. He called it music blast. Despite last year's bout with cancer and the death of his brother this year, Bill continues to play with the same fire that won him admission to the Country Music Hall of Fame. I'd like to, to remember Bill Monroe is a man that originated this music and started it, and um, that his songs and his style will continue on and live on and never die. And they will remember the respect that Bill Monroe had for him and the respect he wanted from them. And that's where I'd like for it to, to live on. American folk music, bluegrass, mountain music, was the way the past was preserved from generation to generation. It was lyric storytelling. Bill Monroe's music keeps alive that past. It keeps alive the memory of a time when things were simpler. One bluegrass fan said it this way, Bean Blossom, Indiana, Brown County Jamboree, Bill Monroe was picking and singing. It's one big family. People come from far away to hear the bluegrass ring. The music of the people of the heartland. Hear them sing and play. Looks like fun. Can you play? No, but I can pick and I can grin and I can <laughs> stomp my feet and clap my hands. It's wonderful. They're terrific people. Well, it's nice to have you with us. We'll be looking forward to your report. Thank you. And yeah, we'll be right back after this.